Radiant Team Ban. <laughs> Dire Team Ban. Radiant Team Ban. <laughs> Dire Team Pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Radiant team. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Dota 2 game that is Manila, Manila, uh, the Manila Sea Qualifiers. <laughs> and uh, well, I'm here with Denali, we the casting versus uh, Taring versus exactly. Maneski. Uh, game one going to Maneski in pretty convincing team. fashion, some sweet profit uh, lifesteal of puck plays. And uh, game number two, no more Mirana. Taring, <laughs> done. Never We're say never. See something else. Never Bench. say never. Maneski! Oh. Around instead. All right, all right. Oh. But okay, here's my theory craft. Venge, okay. full spirit, swap, rupture. Get me? You getting me? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I mean, it could happen. It could happen. It I, I was pretty spot on with my cast curse today. Like earlier on, I'm not sure if you saw. Um, I think Mar Marana, like Yamato is mid lane versus an Ember spirit, and. Uh, you know, they were just farming, and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and jinx it now, but Ember Spirit should not die to Marana here, Radiant and then three back. seconds later, he dies. Like, it's really three seconds later, he dies. Like, yeah. So. We're not hired predictions. Don't place bets on our predictions. We are wrong 99% of the time. We're just happy when it. In that case, there will not be a Bloodseeker. Oh, uh, okay, Lysander, if you so. <laughs> okay. Anyways, anyways, I'm really surprised to see Mirana today. Time is going to be in the hands of Maness. I'm actually curious to see how they're going to be running the Mirana. If in a similar fashion to how Taring has ran it, or if it's going to be the more standardized roaming Mirana that we normally see. Roams around, throws arrows, arrows creep, etc, etc. Yeah, it could be. Uh, but I think that the... The Enchantress is gonna be a fresh new pick here. Was she nerfed straight up or were there some other changes to her? Because they... these are, I only pay attention to heroes that I like. You like, okay. Um, they did damage cap for Impetus. It mm -hmm. could be much further, but they have changed that so it's not as strong as it used to be. They kind of had the of her the pick. war stuff. What was it like oh, Hurricane? Yeah. I forgot what it's called. It's Hurricane, Hurricane, Hurricane Pike. Thank you. It's the Hurricane Pike. That was and when it was first released, all like people were doing weird stuff with it, where they would Hurricane Ten Pike their remaining. back to base and get like three or four hits from the fountain. Five that would insta give a lot of low HP. Like that was just a dirty combination. It. Okay. Yeah. So this was nerfed in like B, or was it A? In the patch. This was not B. The A. Okay. okay. I couldn't imagine this with the previous Impetus Enchantress because that would be really broken. But so, I think it was really strong with TA already. It was. I don't know if you saw it, but I saw, I think it was a odd shot from Wagamama. And yeah, I watched the stream live, that so one? it was yeah. pretty good. <laughs> Those two heroes, and the, everyone on the other side were just lolling because they couldn't do anything because they were all... That was ridiculous. I would love to see TA. It's just... It's... It, Great for TA to get the extra range, you still have items on top of it. So it's like I sort of balanced it nicely, where it gives you added range, but you need the damage to follow up. It doesn't matter if you can hit the extra range, you just kill them, you can't kill them full stop. So, mm -hmm. overall though, it's really early in the draft. 
I, I kind of feel like this is going to end up being a core cool Morana, as you said, because Enchantress, she's already there, she can be aggressive roaming jungler, unless they consider this as an offlane enchant. Dire team pick. I don't yeah. think that's the case, though. It's, uh, I don't know, but I like this Witch Doctor pick. I always like Witch Doctor uh, as a hero support, no, rather. It's very good against Darkseer, surprisingly, because of the cask. So if the Darkseer gets a little bit too too complacent, even with Surge, she can get destroyed Five because of the really... cask bounce. If it catches him with the range creep, always gets him. Like, it's, uh, it's a very so common tired. thing to, to get caught out by it and not, not expecting it and then getting getting killed off. I mean, there was this one game where the Dark Sea just got caught by a Gyro Witch Doctor non-stop, so... It's already not a great game for the Dark Sea, though. Don't forget, if the Enchantress gets the Purge creep, you can Purge Surge mm -hmm. off. Oh, yeah. So, that could just be another easy kill for the Dark Sea. It's not going to be an easy game at all. So... Aaron, we'll have to see what they want to do with him. If he does have a hard lane... And and just shift over into the jungle. That's just the great thing with Darkseer. Move into the jungle. If you can't sit in lane and get farm elsewhere, it's absolutely A-OK. -okay. But I'm trying to figure out the draft so far. I've got three heroes from Ineski. It looks very aggressive to me. It's Pinoy Dota. They're probably going to go for their signature mm -hmm. style where they want to assert that map control. What are they wanting to look for as their safe lane? Uh, we don't know the position of this Mirana yet, though, so I sort of want to... My eyes on their draft for now. Oh, radiant team. Okay. Uh, that's that's a good one. I... You think he's he's such a balanced team? So uh, not balanced. I I, I don't know. But... I've been hearing that from from C pros that juggernaut's the way to go, and I've been playing lots of juggernaut with great effect. Actually, you don't go for the battle fury, you just go for the drums, and you just just crush with your good abilities because that spin. It's such a sh low Easy mana cost time. slash cooldown now that it's absurd. You can clear out the waves, even in the mid lane. I think in the mid lane Juggernaut is not that bad. When I say, uh, I think people, when I say balance, when I say balance, like the hero is so well rounded. So I've got to start changing the essay thing. As you said, so well rounded. As you said, spin is amazing out of ganks. Against the Enchantress, it's not that great, but if you TP's out, then he should be okay. Healing Ward means that if Tyrion wants to go for pushes and seals, they're always going to have that consistent HP regen going their way. Plus the Darkseer, you're going to have the extra bonus regen. If Juggernaut can isolate any of these heroes, they are dead with only. So, I like the way that Tyrion is drafting it so far, and it looks like it's just going to be aggression, aggression, aggression. I'm going to be picking up the Queen Pain for Yamate. I haven't seen this for a very long time. I haven't seen this for a long time, so I'm going to be giving because remaining. he will have a much higher impact this game last game the remaining. yeah i guess the uh, queen of pains can be extremely good against enchantress not too bothered Reserve by point. the by the enchantress untouchable just going to nuke through all that touchiness and uh nature's profit again makes a resurgence in this game too brow arrows big stuff brow arrows but it's a disable that doesn't pierce juggernaut spin I can't mm -hmm. help but feel like Mineski might run into problems with the Jug. They just it's have nothing to really in. lock him down. Brought him in, but if... What can you do? Ten seconds remaining. That is true. We'll see, uh... Beastmaster Five has been pretty popular remaining. as well, recently. Do they really want to go for a Beastmaster here, though? Because how would the lanes turn out for Mineski? Mid? Mid Beastmaster against the Queen of Pain? Seems okay. He's one of those heroes that don't really lose their lanes. He just stabilizes. If a good rotation, a raw could be a kill. That, it could be. We'll have to see what Maneski wants to go for, though. They've got to acknowledge that they but now that they just want to finish the game possible. Remaining. got a lot of summons to work with, the Nature's Prophet Treants. You have the Enchantress Creeps as well. Garana with the Moonlight Shadow to give your teams that uh, rotation possibility with the free... Quote smoke. Wish Doctor, great for team fight. Earth take a last pick for Tarring. I kinda like this to round out their draft. But... The doctor. Exactly. And long range initiative. It's gonna be great for chasing down some of the Nesky heroes. I think it's a strong one, especially with the Agatibs. Does he skip blink? <laughs> no, 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 no. No. You never skip blink. Agonims is four point two K. Why would you skip blink dagger for eggs? 
It's a four second escape. It's a four second Reserve escape, time. but it's gonna take him almost twice the time to get to Ags than if he just picked up the blink. <laughs> well, Lysander, fellow qualifiers. All right, but I I don't know. I I just I just see Ags upgrades and I get excited. So if, we'll see if this game if goes crazy. If was garbage on Earthshaker, then but it's not garbage. Yeah, it's good on the shaker. But I've seen people skip it, so it's, it's possible. Or pubs, Lander. Not Manila qualifiers. <laughs> You'd be surprised how close the two are, actually, sometimes. Uh, the Murana, <laughs> the Murana, Dagon, Aghanim's combo come, came from a pub. I just saw Miracle play it the other day on a highlight video. So, it's a, it's a real possibility. They, they do things like that. Bring things and they say, oh wow, this works so well. Let's see how this does in a pro match. And then they do it. And uh, you go, okay, right. So the last pick for Mineski ended up being a Sven. So mm -hmm. they've got well, they got quite a bit of It's gonna be Raging mm -hmm. Potato playing this as well. Good thing to note is the armor. I think the important thing here is gonna have to be that. Armor and Raging Potato. Even though there's a lot of mag magical burst coming out from Taring, once Taring is blown all of their spells, when it comes to rock, they're gonna hit like kittens against this uh, war cry coming out for Raging Potato. What I really like from Sven is actually the counter to Jug because his war cry just makes Omni Slash pretty much useless. Like, useless. <laughs> it does almost no damage. Uh, I think there, there was this, it, it was. I saw it in another video, like, the Omni Slash, like, went full on onto Sven, he didn't even take, like, a third of his health. Oh, Raging Potato, don't go into the jungle. Okay. Don't, 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 Potato. Oh, don't he broke it. it! Saw him! Oh. Run! Run! Oh, he got out. He got, no, Doctor, oh, no. that's not how you do cast. things. Doctor! Who cast? Doctor! Phoenix, no? Did he go? Dead, he's so dead. Oh. Oh, he's fine. Seconds to battle. He, he didn't want to have to spend that tank, but hey, that was good. Uh, they get out of there in time, and uh, well, they will survive to fight another day, but yeah, alright. The Sven is uh, going to be very strong against the, the Juggernaut, you, you'll see later. The thing to note as well is, Sven is a hero, he reaches a very early power curve. So if you don't delay, gets that Sand and Yasha, Blink B. The battle begins. Can't help but feel like Tiring is going to be done. For oh no, it's Echo, Echo Saber now. Is it really Echo Saber? Yeah, yeah, they did, they did it just now. Um, Powering did it, just Echo Saber after Helm of Tom. Oh yeah, because you get the slow from Echo. And you get the double hit, which is way better, I think. Uh, you, you, it's all about the initial hit after Stormhammer, right? You also want the slow to be able to hit, because yeah. the biggest general is he's so easy to kite. Yeah, it's the they, they blink in and then they Stormhammer and they hit twice. Huh. Pretty strong. Like, uh, it really demolished a lot of them. Oh, Ben. A lot of damage here in the mid lane. It, I mean, I feel like we've gone full circle. Marana's back in the middle lane. Like, <laughs> but she on used a to be in the team. middle lane a long time ago, but now now she's back. Like, after all the buffs to her range, her agility gain, and all that, she's now back in the middle lane. I'm glad to see Marana. She's very enjoyable. You say that again? Uh, when we're two months into the patch and some guy discovers a crazy way to exploit Marana and then <laughs> suddenly she's the new, what do you call it, quote quote cancer of pubs and then everyone's, oh Marana OP nerf. <laughs> I think people are gonna I enjoy watching Invoker. Yeah, yeah, I enjoy watching Invoker. I just don't exactly. enjoy playing against Invoker. <laughs> it's always fun it. to watch because all the spells, then you just, you just sit there and sigh and like, oh, look at this balanced ball of fun. But uh, when you're not facing it, it's always good. Queen of Pain's gonna move forward, harass Ben her. The actress comes through. She's gonna harass him out of it. The good thing about the actress, like her with her, they are just so good at harassing people out. Like Yamato just gets entangled, not entangled, but he gets ensnared up, takes a bit of damage. And just because of Jules being here, he's just zoned out both the Queen of and the Earth. How many heroes can zone out two heroes from minute two? Pretty good. Uh, you can also send a tornado creep to mess with him around. Absolutely. Enchantress um, is able to get two creeps early game, and that's that's what's really strong about it. At level one, she can grab two, whereas Chen can only get one. Oh, lucky rune here for NJ. Really happy. He was at like 
He was running on fumes there, and the regeneration rune. Gonna be very happy about that one. Meanwhile, Sven is uh, farming on pretty nicely. Gonna go for his boots, and then maybe even rushing if the Helm of Iron will. Sounds like a plan. Stack up the armor. I would honestly like to see those on the Enchantress move maybe going into the top lane, stabilize the lane here for Boccarino, because he's just sitting behind the tower, he's got oh, enough arrow, mana arrow. for TP. Yeah, I'm gonna say... Try to go for that creep fake. Exactly. And the Hurricane uh, there, there we go. There we go. Lane Hurricane ruined. Jules. <laughs> Hurricane Jules. Oh, they oh. have to crash the party. Cost the fissure, so... Pretty annoying. Yep. I stop it's a, a thunderstorm. It's a Cast three a armor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I heard there was a there was a tornado or hurricane near Waga's place the other day. So speaking of that Waga, that's kind of terrible. Must have been very. Should have used a fissure. <laughs> <laughs> that's terrible. Just don't go there. Uh... <laughs> oh, no one was hurt. I think. Maybe not. I think. But uh, Ben is actually doing surprisingly well despite- Oh, we've got oh. a health star storm, no mana! Ah, uh, that was sad. It was on cooldown. It looked really funky there for a while. I he had it. that off cooldown. Dead Yamate. Even with the slight delay on the star storm, he would have definitely died. He's so lucky that it was on cooldown. Oh, well, Marana never lucky, so we'll see. Cast the... Uh, that witch doctor again, I love it. I love the monkey, I think that's the best cosmetic. Best part about it, the monkey, not even the hero, just the cosmetic holder. Yeah, that, that was a TI cosplay with that. I didn't get to see that, but back to the game, outside of cosplay and hard. <laughs> just seems like both teams, they're, they're trying to look for kills or at least to get into position for kills, but every time one pops up, just doesn't happen. Never mind, they have Jinx to here in the top lane, Bokker jumps on, but here comes Oh, to the rescue. No one's dead and. Fortunately, Jules is as well as himself too slow to take anybody down. And now that Jules is here, if he just stays up here, he can help secure Boccarino the lane or just himself. That's fine. It's all good. Yeah, but it does uh, impede the Juggernaut a little bit. It and does. Uh, that's just the thing about Prophet, you know, once he gets that face boots, it's really difficult to lock him down. Especially again, like we said, with that essentially solo support from the bench. He has to pull. And uh, with Ling in the oh. middle lane, so it, it's pretty much... Yeah, oh, there goes your Enchantress. He also there, though. Can Jules outrun this? Sprite? Nope. Ice gets first blood. He doesn't have enough untouchable levels to survive that. So Ben's getting that first blood. Very, very welcome. Very nice. Although there is a TB from the Nature's Prophet. He's trying to look for poor Ice. Can he chase him down? Phase boots deployed. The Jukes! He got juked! Okay, oh. and now, now he's in trouble, right? He should have sprouted, I think, for vision. Ooh. Can he get ice? Jab him! Ice? Jab him! Oh no! Oh come on! <laughs> okay, that scream was unnecessary, but gotta get that kill. Yamate is a CS, uh, KS pro. KSing all game is Marana, I think. You mean kill securing? Yeah, that's what that's what I mean. No. Kill securing. Exactly. Game. Kill securing. He he needs the gold though. I wouldn't mind him for screaming that. If he can just get those early levels, especially getting at level six, he's so close to it. Once he has that six, he will definitely think about sniping the Marana potentially. Ben Hur's HP pool isn't that impressive. So if the Queen just whittles him down, they can grab a snipe. Alright. Oh, like Sven is going for the Max Cleave that build again. Not going to be deviating too much. The normal build. You did see a few levels in Stormhammer oh, earlier smoke. on when they were looking for more aggressive. Can they catch Ben Hur? I don't think they're going for him, they're going for the Prophet. Uh, mid looks much more promising on it. Prophet's just too far behind. They, they won't even get him either. They have an Observer Ward though, so again, they keep tabs on him. He's just poking away at the creeps on the side. Really not taking too much damage. Wasted smoke, unfortunately. I would have loved to grab a kill with that. Every time you use a smoke, you want to guarantee kills. If they uh -oh. NJ down towards bottom, hmm? we're chased up by an army of witch doctors. Who wants to go up against three casks? Casks. Banner. Not me. Oh, dropping that double star storm. Dropping the queen really, really low there. 
And uh, looks like Ben is also going for the same build as Yamate in terms of skills, uh, going for the two point and leap instead of the four point arrow. So, maxing leap again. So, uh, oh, I think they're gonna get the jump on the the dark here this time. Fought into the earth shaker though. Oh, Kills. get stomp on Yamate. Gonna run away. Good storm hammer follow up. There was there a follow up. One more course. Ah, there we go. Gets in there. Oh my god. They get them both together. There's no echo slam for this one. They lose the profit. Going to back into Link. Is he okay? Lose by the ancients. Yes, he will. The black dragons will hurt him out of his misery. But that is something you do not want to do, which is uh, to stack up with those casks. And I was looking for impetuses, but they weren't any because he's not level six just yet. So five and a half, uh, just a little short for that. Impetus, but um, the cask doing work too. Bouncing around the team, then you know, eight minutes in, we got some serious fighting going on. Uh, Gold Graph, we can take a look. It's about 3,000 in favor of the Pinoy squad. Maneski looking good in this game. I also want to point out the missed fissure from Ling. I, I think the Sven was off by a couple of pixels. If he got the Sven, he may have actually been able to survive, but. Late, he died. Very quite lucky that they only lost one. Even though it was Yamate, they could have potentially given away two kills, which early on grabbing two kills is very important. And he's fainting the Sonic Wave. He's about trying to go for a bit of a jump here onto Ben, but Ben's not going to take it. I was trying to bait out the leap. If he commits the leap, then yeah, oh. and go for the aggressive scream to Sonic Wave. Yeah, I think even even if he leaps, even if he doesn't leap, he can. I I think the kill kill zone is about 500. Oh, that's oh. a double star storm. Oh, it would have oh. been amazing. It would have been amazing. Oh man, that was really close. Oh, oh yeah, crap! They get him. Oh, oh damn! No. That was your that was your leap right there, and the leap bonus really strong. Be able to just speed forward and just get him. And Enchantress' uh, percentage base move speed bonuses are really good for her because of her high base move speed. I was just set up the Wrath of Nature. If that, that didn't connect. I think that's what, what they were planning, like stun yeah. that fraction of a second, get the full star storm, and then with the Wrath it should be enough, but that works too. Are you going to take out these ancients? It's always dying, but still a lot of gold going. It's... Warcry, pretty good stuff. And uh, going Yasha first, so he's going SNY, no Echo Sabers for him. I'm gonna say, not doing well in this lineup. Oh, greed. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't go for that now. Yamate's, he's had the Sonic Wave for a long time, but he hasn't really had the chance to use it anytime recently. Like, to in a pain, you would love to go for those consistent kills. Looks like, unfortunately, Ben's gonna arrow. I think Yamate was gonna link to grab the rune a but you would, short. you would prefer to use it as much as possible and to secure a kill at least one kill with it but that oh, hasn't really messes been the case up the bottle pick up. <laughs> oh no yeah the <laughs> enchantress picked up his boot and stuff. oh yeah mate it's up the high ground oh now everyone's out of mana the oh pickles. they got the bts courier look at that oh <laughs> what <laughs> Cosmetics are an important part of this economy, so we gotta support them. But it is an adorable courier. You don't like the bee cat? I, I use Elgato. I don't even have this cat. I don't have this I don't have this bird. I, I think I didn't get it. Okay. That's sad. I bought so many chests, but I didn't get it. Okay, I, I use I still use Shack Bark and uh, Elgato and uh, whatnot. So pretty old school. Okay, just shamelessly promote BTS careers. It's fine. Oh, Sha Shaq Bark isn't BTS. Shaq Bark, Shaq Bark is a uh, cyborg bat, right? Yeah, but His I just like the career. Based okay. on principle. Right. On principle. <laughs> Spare me. <laughs> hey, Lysander, calm down. Enough time. Enough fan couriering cosmetic. Yeah, I, I I always talk about hats. I think it's a it's a it's a great it's great content. You know, hat. Give some love to the creators. Absolutely. Looks like we've got a push here from Maneski though. They want to try and take down some of these towers to grab some of the tower bonuses, but it looks like they have to contest. And Yamate with his invis rune, this could be great setup, as well as follow up with the surprise sonic wave. Oh, the execution. here we go. Oh no no, he's got time. He's got uh, I thought this they... was smoke, but he's got Tater time. Taylor, notice this? Taylor's taking a lot of damage. Bye. 
Yep, yeah, he's dead. And the spin. Oh, oh, Mineski goes down. I think they could spot Ben Hurry up, but. Spin and Iron Shell. Pretty painful. But that was a very, very key play coming up from Yamate. Just standing right next to the Sven with the Ion Shell, burning him down, and just going straight for Jump once his HP is low enough. Very good execution. He lost the tower, unfortunately, but I think to grab the Sven kill this early and a kill with such a high net worth on him, it's absolutely worth it. And if they grab the tower on top of this as well, it'll be great. Golem incoming. Rip. Rip. Yeah, but um, yeah, pick your brain a little bit, but what do you think about Battle Fury Juggernaut as opposed to maybe Drums, SMY or something like that? Uh, Battle Fury on the Juggernaut, like it's gonna help him scale into the late game. It's more or less tiring saying that we're gonna try and drag the game long enough so that Shonik is gonna be able to contest Sven. Because the problem here is that if Shonik Shonix commits for a more or less early game oriented build and they're not able to stay toe to toe with Mineski, that Shonix is going to fall too far behind to really be able to come back in a comfortable fashion. Whereas for Battle Fury, easily farm the map. And also, Shonix is going to have a lot of pushing potential by himself just because he can get creep waves at the speed of light. So if there's any opening, Shonix can push while his team is keeping Mineski. I guess the Marana is going for Aghanim, so round of applause, everyone. <laughs> He's a thousand gold away, so that's pretty good. You might get it for 20 minutes, that's actually really powerful. It is the sailing. Try to jump on today. Thinking about it, but probably thinking that he'll miss the arrow anyway. Oh, with profit support, he could get it. I think he could get a kill. There's no TP on this last year. Do you have any tangos? Yes, he has tangos, so... It doesn't matter if you have an arrow. Yeah, he's going, arrow he's going, man. he's going. He goes profit. I love... He used, he used search. Oh, no, no! no. He, bought a, he bought a TP. He should have held on to it. Should have hung on to arrow. Yeah. He just kept on... Uh, kept, he's, he's got the haste as well. Bit of a misplay from Ben Hur, but I think he was just trying to get the quick combination off that he could have blown everything to blow him up. Oh well. Oh, could have been a kill. Oh, he gets netted up. What's happening here? Jules throwing impetus at him. Ooh, Ooh. it's a chunk. Nice to quarter. Bocarino going mechanism once again. Uh, I, I really like this uh, medic prophet. Very good. Boosting the team from everywhere around the map. Be able to push with the buckler as well. So all in all good stuff, uh, Yamate has decided to opt for drums. He has done this a lot now actually. Not building uh, a boots upgrade and it's going straight for items. That, so no threads, nothing, just brushing your travels after his core items are done. So in a sense saving some money, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. Um, there was... spotted them out with the scan. No, no, that, that was their own scan because it was their uh, own they, scan, scanned, but... they scanned high ground to make sure they weren't walking into a trap. Esky scanned as well. Okay, what, what did they? And right Maybe after. They make, I think uh... they got it afterwards. I, I think they know. scanned when they passed the area. I'm still not like super observant with the scans. I just see it happening and I don't know whose it is. Uh, Maybe it's something they should fix though. The color on the scan? You don't know who scans sometimes. It would probably be better if maybe the notification for the scan was a, scan was a little bit louder. For example, like maybe the, yeah, like, the announcer like would Ra say like... Radiant, Radiant has scanned nothing, right? For your team, not yeah, the opposing team. of course, of course. Exactly. Feels like it's just so, so subtle that sometimes you just don't notice. Yeah, your teammates in pubs might not even know of this thing. Radiant's bottom but uh, here we go. Verana's gonna be baiting with that Invis rune that's like, oh, catch him, but... Actually, Roche. Does Tyring say that Roche They don't even know, they smoked in. Ah, uh, they're still grouping up there, they're expecting it, I believe. Are they? they they're Roche. expecting a high ground push, I think, picking up the Invis rune. They just want to play it safe now. And there's a dagger on the Earth Shaker. This is potential danger, but uh, they do have the Mud Golem to scout things out, so. That's going to be a down Roshan and an Aegis for Sven. Ben didn't go for Echo Saber, he went straight for Sand and Yasha. Yeah, I, uh, I, I, I said when he built yeah. the Alacrity, I was like, okay, no more Echo Saber in this game. Pretty sad. Oh well. It's pretty cool, I mean, he, get, like, he hits like twice and let's go pow pow. 
And uh, we've got strength that could be quite a bit of damage. He may just value the move here, because sometimes Fens like to pick up the drum. So I send him as a fine. Yeah, we could take a look at net worth. Uh, 9,000 gold for the Sven, and only 7,005 for Juggernaut. You talk about that fast curve, and this is it. It's uh, curving out fast. The Juggernaut just got his Battle Fury 17 minutes in, but Sven built in Battle Fury from level well, level 2 at the least, I guess. But uh, he's been farming up really fast, and he will have his Blink oh, Dagger soon. Oh! Bye, friends. Not really friends, but okay. Friends on opposite sides. Yeah. Very easy. Well, Ben's got his Aghanim, so supports oh, are gonna suffer Shonix? pretty hard now. Shonix, step out of there. There's stun on him. Nope, no stun on him. And uh, I think that's one of the good things of Sven as well, is being able to just sh shred the Juggernaut, even if he spins, because you hit so hard, so you can't actually do that TP thing. Mm. Right now, they're, they're that hot. Safe enough for now, for Shonix to but as it After goes later and later, blink comes online? Nope. exactly, it'll turn into a problem. Now the blink is online too, so you've quite literally. Oh, a good haste. Oh, he blinks forward for this. He might actually yeah, pay him. Yeah, he's gonna pay double star storm. Will pay and Bimper oh. will get him. Greedy Yamate. I think he's tilting. Honestly, I feel like he's tilting, making a lot of very, very dangerous plays. Shonix doesn't have a TP this time. He's not gonna get out. I talked about the span. This span through it and there you go the sun just slowing him enough and uh yeah juggernaut you're not safe man you can just spin your way out of everything Taring are really starting to lose momentum they haven't even taken a one tower 20 minutes of the game you would have expected Taring to at least be able to take one but it's just been Mineski completely co controlling the map they've got wards everywhere like you can see they've got one ward in the mid lane it's gonna fire they've got one near the roach pit well actually they've got two near the roach pit but serve their purpose like they just they've got a tower they've got two towers to go and that's gonna be it towering if they've got towers they actually wouldn't be this far behind in terms of network but because they haven't it's just gold that they haven't been able to secure yeah it's a uh, big deal Cast has been sitting back, hasn't he got much opportunities to use his uh, death war just yet. So far, Enchantress has been putting a lot of work into this, the Dragonlance has been equipped, so... Nice. If you see Arrogate Pike, oh, Arrow is gonna hit the Oshake oh, instead, that's even better, perfect play, and now en Enchantress is going to down there while he sits there for 5 freaking seconds, goodbye, Jules says. Oh man, this is not good, Tiring are falling apart. They, the Earthshaker should not have been caught out there, but because he did, that means that their Echo Slam counterplay is not going to be available for this high ground push for Tiring. Like, yeah, and the, oh, here comes the, here comes the God's <laughs> rank. Every exactly. type of stone, it's hitting fast. He hasn't even used the War Cry yet. And, okay, coming in. And I think this is the fight to watch. Omni Slash is going to oh, do nothing. Oh, that's done. Oh, no. Death Ward. And that's Rax. Wow, Maneski, 20 minutes in, taking Rax. I would say, if he's not careful, he could get hit by a straight stun and go down. And this is why I don't like the Juggernaut Battle 3 build, because you're like so squishy. And you do a lot of damage, but if you fall behind like this, you can't actually go in and face tank things if you die. No, ideally, if you're the Juggernaut, you would love to be on the other side of the map farming. But yeah. because you decided to stay in the base, he's not able to accomplish anything and he's the effectiveness of that battle fury. They can't really do anything about it. It's yeah, tough. I mean, they lost the early game so hard. Even though they were here to kill us at some small point, it was a, it was a small thing. And uh, now they're losing their ancient stack even. That's even worse. Oh gosh, it's getting worse and worse. Tiring. I was trying to figure out, like, what's another option that that Tiring could go for to sort of bring themselves back to the fold? Like, in most situations, you could say split push. Um, I don't know if it's safe enough for she to next to really feel comfortable split pushing. Tying may up, but more or less for the majority of the game have been grouped up. So trying to grab these small pops isn't going to always be the case. And I guess the last option here would be high ground, but they need an earth shaker. They can't afford to have a link get picked off before a high ground attempt because without the echo slam there's really no setup for Taring outside of NJ which we already saw if NJ runs in there he just gets it gibbed by the Sven. 
I think everyone gets insta gift now. Exactly. Except Earth Shaker, he'll be able to get in there quick enough. Yeah, the Shaker has Blink Dagger, he needs to get... I think even points, uh, that's the Echo Slam to be enough. They need the setup. All they need for the Echo Slam is to set up for the Darkseer to vacuum wall, and then mm. if Yamate is close enough, he can get three to four man Sonic waves. It's this is too much pressure on Team Executioner Taring to perfect execution. Those back into, but it's easier said than done. You can't always expect that sort of initiation. Wombo combo. Exactly. And uh. Well, we'll see what happens here because Hurricane Pike's on the way, and I, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. It's camera on Jules now. All eyes on Jules. I feel like uh, that's the song. No, don't think so. I, I don't listen to many there's, songs. There's I might a Britney lie. Spears song that's all eyes on us or something. But Hurricane Pike. All right, <laughs> we're gonna see this. It'll be glorious. Only he had agonims though. They need vision. They if they if he has vision of the hero, that's it. They're dead. Yeah. All right. All right. Right. All right. It's gonna happen. Look at this. Oh, the, Moonlight they're coming through the they're base. Right into it. it though. That's a hammer. Oh no! Oh, they jump about. They save them. Good one. And that's a big slap. There we go. We we're looking for that one, but Raging Potato going ham here. He even hits that triple kill. One more for the team. Never mind. Doesn't even use it just yet. He's gonna save it for the quap. Save it for the quap, my friend. Save it for the quap. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Baby. Oh no. I thought he could have used it. I'm. I, I don't but know why. I thought he was saving it for the quap. To be honest, I thought he was saving it. So when all that's said and done, that swap. Coming out from the Venge. I don't want to say. Match. I guess it kind of saved them, right? Like, Taring yeah. are so far behind that even if they lost four hits, three. And in particular, they got the Sven, who's got such a net worth. So they got a huge amount of gold. And it was Yamate that was the one to survive last. Like, he's probably the second best hero on, Yam uh, on Taring to get that amount of gold. So, and also, I suppose you also forgot to mention, Netsuki got no towers out of them. Got mm -hmm. hero kills, but. No objectives. Yeah, Prophet did get a push going though, so there's that, but yeah, but, but really though, Yamate, the fact that he has to go for BKB as his first major item says a lot about how uh, how he's been having, um, how much of a bad time he's been having this game. And Chantra's bothering him in the lane, he should win, etc, etc. Getting kills for being greedy, you know, I feel like in general it's more of a, a mix of fatigue and tilting. I don't want to say he's tilting. I think he's doing okay. They're trying to play as. Oh, it's just their draft was able to play as safe during the early game. Right though, NJ has blink, so execution <coughs> wombo combo that we were talking about earlier is getting easier and easier for Taring. And if you're in, you don't want to give them any sort of way to come back. execute that. Exactly, you want them to come back because their draft. I still want to say is fully capable coming back. Yeah, it is very possible. They get the Wombo combo again. But, uh, yeah, they, they, they can't have key heroes caught out. The Venture Spirit swap was very timely, but might not be so lucky the next time. So you have to be very careful, and we still haven't gotten to see the Hurricane Pike, so it was a good thing that they didn't really win that game fully. Because now we get to see it. Otherwise, it's going to be pretty bad uh, buying that Hurricane Pike and not getting to see it. What's the plan here for both sides? It looks like Mineski, they're slowing it down a little bit. They're waiting for items. Rush. Oh, Rush. arrow, arrow. Yep, uh, I think they're waiting for Rosh. They've got uh, Ogre the Club on... Yeah, I think they're also hoping to finish up a BKB on him before they go for the next team fight, which is the safest play here for Mineski. Raging Potato can't be controlled, that's it. There's no way Taring can kill. Yeah, they, they have an Enchanter creep. Oh, they get the Enchanters. I think they're not giving him a quarter here, no quarter for him. Bring them down 26 minutes in. Get a nice frag, and uh, we get Roshan's respawn as well. Shonix, oh man, scouting out that Roshan. Without Enchantress, it could be something they do, but Ben is in a unique position to actually take this. So, Enchantress buys back into the game, so I'm not sure that Juggernaut actually wants to do this right now. The Marana jumping forward, getting the oh, star somewhere. Bashed. Uh oh. Oh, got arrowed. About heroes here, they can't follow up. This pretty much means it's Rush for Maneski, I think. They get Rush. They get Rush way faster. They do. Yeah, Alpha Wolves as well. Let's not lose the Wolf here, guys. Alright. 
Yeah, they got it. So, that's gonna be Roche into pockets of potato. If you're an Esky, you've gotta wait for the rest. Then they just go. Then once you've got potato, they, they don't have just... a space for the Sven BKB though. You have to wait for the courier in the back, is that it? Wait for the courier to pass you when your Aegis goes down? Hey. Hang on. So, like, that would have to be the courier in the backside and then have her deliver the item once. Still seems like a plan. I don't really see Taring just focusing down a courier because you wouldn't expect to be on it. Alright. I would say double oblivion stuff is going for silence the real play here though. I feel like Aghanims would be a better choice to be honest. Aghanims? Or the high ground clear. I could see it as a potential old orchid pick. Wow. Uh, orchid into Bloodthorn, but might it... be a little bit too late for that. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna take spots at Jules though. They oh, get the Snitter off and no are ready to Sonic get it the void. Yep. Oh, they pull them back. Vacuum. Dust goes out and NJ just narrows three arrows. Let's not catch that one. Oh, that's good. Swap once again. The best sprint saving lives. The surge up forward as well. The start up Sven. They buy themselves some, tier, some time. And Chantress goes down. Are we really not going to see a Hurricane Pike this game? Sure, we will, right? Orchid has been built up here by Yamate. So we'll There's... see how well that silence works. Let's no, jump forward once again. Raging Potato not fearing anything in the world right now. He's pounding away with that ice armor, getting stunned there for a short moment of time. There's another vacuum in the echo slam. Follow up in the army slam with the battle fury across. Now we talked about armor being good, but not that good. That was Link. Are we gonna lose Link? He's hopping to the battle deck. He will drop there. The Sven's second life is just what made this push possible. Otherwise, that combo would have ended that push right there and then. But we do lose profit. We we do lose Enchantress, but Prophet having none of that, he sees blood in the water. Ultimate down, he knows KB this is the potato. time to go for it. NJ in trouble, there's a silence though, there's a BKB even ready for this. Ice gonna get crushed there, there's, there's the arrow, that stray arrow's gonna land, is he gonna land on anything? Nope, it isn't, but the cast, the cast being annoying. And we have the Enchantress creep running forward to that juggernaut, challenging his fight. And um, Neski looking very strong in this game number two, and are poised to take it. Ben is going to start on the creep in the middle of the wave. No respect at all for his opponents. He's going to blink away now. And uh, two Rex is up. I think Maneski. Did you say it's too early? You call this in a bag or what? I mean, it's looking pretty good for them. It looks really good, but we can't count out... Combo. Combo. Not just the mm -hmm. combo, but I feel like Tar... I, I, I'm putting some faith into Tar here. I don't want to say they've completely lost the game, but they would have to pull out... Some miracles, two... yeah. Not have to pull out two or three plays. Not, not just one, they need two. Hey, Maneski are famous for dishing out those miracle plays for the enemy team, so you never know. Someone suddenly decides that Dagon is the right choice for them, and uh, we have it. Oh, just Shrenix isn't good enough either. Like, he's only got Blink, Battle Fury, and Yeah, Juggernaut answer. was never meant to be a late game, late game, so to speak. He's more of that this timing and we crush you before this, you know, before this game even gets to that stage. But they have been treating Juggernaut like a, like a Spectre or Void. When yeah. you shouldn't really be doing that. You should just be pushing with every healing ward you have and then Omni slashing your way through it. But then again, I would account this to bad, bad lanings maybe. Hmm. They don't have to be bad lanes. They, they never really had to. They got outgreeded. I wouldn't even say outgreeded. They got outplayed as well during the laning phase where they shouldn't have because Taring made a couple of misplays but but now like you just gotta cross your fingers if you're Taring the is uh -oh, their only uh -oh. hope oh, uh, no. oh nice saves the destroy not there oh the cast that would still get him is there a hurricane pike no need for that one Hurricane Pike was already used, I think, but now, oh, Banner getting caught out there by that long hit. But now, NJ gonna smash there by the Raging Potato, showing three, four shots, and with Jules taking the last hit, that might be the last leg on Taring, and they fall. It's starting to crumble here. Yamate has that Sonic Wave ready. Screens on two, gets three, but the mechanism brings the ball back up. Shonix, the Battle Fury, not enough. It's late. Jules might get a Rampage or Rampage alert. Are we gonna see it? Let's go. Throws one out shot. Nope, not enough. The vacuum comes in. There's no follow up here. He might be the fourth kill for Jules. Give Jules the Rampage. Give oh. Jules the Rampage. Come on. Give Jules the Rampage. It's already over. Give it to him, Yamate. Do it. You've got 15 seconds. Do it. GG, no, do it! Alright, alright, here we oh. go, here we go. Such a good guy, good man, my man.